Some games are announced, make a big splash, and then for a year, or sometimes many years, go completely dark and disappear off the face of the earth only to suddenly return. So today we've got eight recent games that died off or just kind of disappeared and then suddenly and triumphantly returned. I know dead might be a strong word, but in the short attention span of the internet, yeah. Anyway, let's get started off with a big one at number eight, Routine. Routine was recently revealed at the Summer Game Fest Showcase live stream, and a lot of people didn't realize it's actually a game that was announced 10 years ago. Yes, believe it or not, I didn't even know this, but apparently there was a game called Routine in the works by a small development team. It was an interesting sci-fi concept, but according to reports, about five years into development as they were getting towards the end, the project just wasn't coming along great. They weren't satisfied with it, so they decided to completely scrap it and start from square one. Part of the reason why this has taken so long is because it's a small team that's also just working on other things in their lives. This is a side project, but the development of the game picked up steam and they linked up with publisher Raw Fury to work out some of the funding and the overall publishing of the game. And now we finally got our first brief, quick look. And to be honest, even though it's a very brief look, it's very, very cool. Some very scary atmospheric hallways and just a hard cyberpunk style design, like the actual genre, not the CD Projekt Red game. The thing that I thought was the coolest was not the enemy type, not the spooky robot thing that pops up at the end, but the actual weapon. The weapon just looks like some old analog PC hardware and not like your typical gun or laser blaster or anything like that, which leads me to believe that this game is going to be a little bit more creative than people might expect. And I'm happy for that. If this thing turns out to be worth 10 years of waiting, hell, even five years of waiting, that's cool. Not only that, the game's music is being composed by Mick Gordon, most recently uh, of Doom and Prey fame. So we're happy this game is back in the fold straight up. As of right now, it doesn't have an official release date, but of course, According to them, it's now finally coming in 2023. And next over at number seven, stop me if you've heard this one before because we've talked about it a lot, it's Bayonetta 3. Uh, Bayonetta 3, things are finally looking up. This action combat game uh, is something that we've been waiting for for a really long time because Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2 were really kick ass. I mean, Bayonetta 2 was like the reason some of us got a Wii U. It was really embarrassing, but the game was awesome. So with Bayonetta 3, it's been a long time coming, and I really mean that. Bayonetta 3 was announced all the way back at the Game Awards in 2017. And after that, we didn't really hear a lot other than the occasional Platinum Games interview where they were talking about another game they're working on and then they go, oh yeah, Bayonetta 3, yeah, we're still working on that. It's fine, everything's fine. Then in 2019, we finally got a more positive update with the development apparently going quite well. According to Platinum Games studio head at Sushi Anaba and then, Thankfully, there was a Nintendo Direct September 2021 that gave us the first real official trailer for Bayonetta 3. Now, initially back in 2017, all we got was a vague announcement with a logo and some icons from the game, where this new trailer in 2021 is straight up a game trailer. We got to see cutscenes, we got to see the gameplay, we got to see the new style for the main character, fighting huge enemies, a city-like setting. And I mean, at least for me, I'm pretty easy to please with these games. I just like the combat and it looks like what we got here is more Bayonetta. Now, during that September 2021 uh, game trailer reveal, the game was confirmed to be actually releasing in 2022, but 2022 is moving along pretty quick, man. I mean, at the time of recording this, it's already the summer. So we're just really hoping we actually get to see it this year. If not, hey guys, take your time, make it great. Next over at number six, we have Scorn. This first person horror game was actually announced November 2014. The trailer showed kind of like pre-alpha footage. There was a whole Kickstarter campaign that didn't quite meet expectations, but the developers stuck with it. And eventually it found funding to be a fully published, fully developed game. Now Scorn, if you're not familiar, is uh, what we call here the gross game. It's a first person, seemingly horror adventure, very much inspired by the art style of H.R. Geiger or H.R. Giger, one of the minds behind a lot of the original designs and concepts of Alien and Aliens. Besides Alien, he was known for a lot of just super wild out there art and this game absolutely seems to be celebrating it from the environment design uh, to some of the objects the player is using but this game seems to take it to an even further level with just some really gross stuff in 2017 it had more crowdfunding but the game was really quiet it kind of ebbed and flowed and eventually we got word that xbox and microsoft were going to back it but even then the game went radio silent for quite a while only to now years later finally triumphantly return at the 2022 xbox bethesda game showing for the 
summer game fest thing and we got a good lengthy trailer looking at more enemies looking at more stuff of the game it's still hard to get a feel on exactly how this game will play but it sure looks cool and after years of delays and years of silence it finally has a full release date that hopefully it will meet it is slated for pc and xbox release on october 21st 2022 Next over at number five is the Callisto Protocol. Now, to be fair, this game had a smaller window where it dropped off, but we, we still wanted to talk about it because it looks like it's gonna be a significant release. The game is directed by Glenn Schofield, the guy who was like one of the co-creators of the Dead Space series. And this game is straight up an unabashed spiritual successor to those games. This is a video game ass video game, a third person action survival horror linear adventure. That's always the type of games that we love here. And so we're really Really rooting for it and we've been rooting for it the game had a really cool splashy announcement trailers at the 2020 game awards and after that the game pretty much went silent only to re-emerge now in the summer of 2022 with a game informer deep dive magazine reveal and a big lengthy new trailer and a bunch of gameplay videos at the summer game fest so basically after that cool but kind of cryptic announcement trailer we were kind of left just hanging in there the people who pay attention to game development and the people behind it and stuff that team behind this stuff. We were excited for the potential, but after not hearing anything for a long time, we started to kind of forget. And thankfully this gameplay is now out there and it totally blew us away. I mean, look at it, it's awesome. It's gory, it's scary. We really hope the full release lives up to its potential. If it meets its release date, it is officially slated for December 2nd, 2022. And next, down at number four, we have Hollow Knight Silksong. This one's kind of like a meme at this point. This is the long awaited follow up to 2017's absolutely fantastic Hollow Knight. It was a Metroidvania style action adventure game that was really, really challenging and it had a completely unique art style and vibe and it was really addictive. It released first on PC, but eventually saw its way to all the major platforms and people just loved it. So when Hollow Knight Silk Song, the follow-up was announced, people were hooked, man. It was announced February, 2019. And when we got to take a look at it, it looked pretty far along. It looked substantial. A new playable character, cool new enemy types, more intriguing levels, faster gameplay. Hornet seemed awesome and people were really excited to play as her. We got an extended gameplay demo at E3 2019 and after that, that was really it. That was about all we heard other than vague development updates from the creator saying like, yeah, it's still coming, it's coming along. But like I said at the start, like it became a meme because it, for so long, everybody was just dying for a Hollow Knight Silk song to show up at anything, any live stream event, a Nintendo Direct, something. So many times a Nintendo Direct was about to drop and people thought this is the day we're gonna get a release date or it's gonna get a surprise release, nothing. Until finally, June 2022, during the Xbox Bethesda game showcase, we finally got a new look at the game and confirmation that yes, it still does exist and it's seemingly still coming out. Interestingly enough, out of all the trailers at the Xbox Bethesda Game Showcase, this is the only one that didn't have any sort of release date pop up at the end of the trailer, not even just a window year. That being said, Xbox did say that everything shown during that event will release within the next 12 months, as long as nothing is delayed. So technically we could be getting Hollow Knight Silk Song fairly soon, within a year, depending on when you're watching this video. We really hope that's the case. Now, next over at number three, we have Witchfire, this awesome looking first person action game. Really turned some heads when it was first announced, just for its distinct style, its unique weaponry, cool enemy types, spooky vibe. It really hooked us when it was announced at the 2017 Game Awards. After that and that trailer though, things went completely quiet. Now, it is a very small team developing this, but it is also a significant team. It's the astronauts, the folks behind the vanishing of Ethan Carter. That was very much an indie darling, but Witchfire is actually technically going a little bit back to their roots because some of this team is formed up of people who worked on Painkiller, the absolutely awesome first person shooter from back in the day. So they're going back to that more hardcore PC style FPS. And that's frankly why this game was a big deal. And that's why we waited a couple of years to hear anything new. Obviously with the pandemic, a lot of games went pretty quiet. It was hard to get updates because everything was so stalled. Thankfully at the 2022 Summer Game Fest, we got a new trailer with a bunch of spicy gameplay and the news that the game is coming to early access towards the second half of 2022. That being said, the developers did reiterate that it, the game will not release until they are completely happy with it because they wanna make a good first impression and we're down with that. 
Next over at number two, we have Dragon Age 4 that was announced at the Game Awards in 2018. And since then, if you ask me, the game has been kind of dead. Yes, it very much seems like a team is very much working on it, but as of right now, they are still definitely not showing anything really significant to the general public. And it just seems amplified because the people that love Dragon Age really love Dragon Age. So when there's nothing, or even when there's a little something that pops up, it goes pretty wild. We've gotten concept art videos at, during EA things. We've gotten cinematic trailers. Uh, we've gotten news that behind the scenes, there was some trouble with development or really like them not knowing how to market the game. But now after the drip feed has been really quiet for quite a while, in June 2022, we got an official reveal of the game's actual title. It's not called Dragon Age 4. It's called Dragon Age Dreadwolf. So now this leads us to believe like our thing is gonna start ramping up. They've been working on this for a while and things have been quiet. Is now the time where we're gonna start seeing cool trailers and more details about the game? I don't know for sure, but I just hope when it does actually release, it's good and it lives up to the whole Dragon Age hype. Now down to number one, the reason why we were thinking of making this video, it's the System Shock remake. System Shock was an absolutely revolutionary PC game from 1994, and this remake developed by Night Dive Studios started to become a thing in 2016 with a Kickstarter campaign, but things kept moving forward when in February, the development of the game was confirmed to be on hold, on hiatus, and that really, really worried people. Apparently the game, like the remake of it, was getting a little bit too ambitious, and with some updates and just new things being added to the game, they maybe got ahead of themselves and had to refocus development. After 2018, it was dead for like two years until in 2020, there was an alpha demo released. Then after that, a bunch of things went down. I mean, the pandemic, the development slowdowns that result from that, to changing hands, uh, to changes behind the scenes in terms of who is working on the game. And after so many back and forths, the game is actually back in the news. If you're watching this, uh, in June of 2020, the game has hit the internet again with a new and and very impressive game trailer. And as of now, I mean, the game has been delayed and pushed so many times, but right now at the time of making this, it's slated for PS5, PS4, all the Xbox series and PC for Steam and Epic Game Store sometime in 2022. We really hope we see it, but if we gotta wait longer, fine. Plenty of time to catch up on some other games. But those are some games that kind of died off and bounced back. We wanted to talk about some recent ones, but there are plenty more in gaming history. So we'd love to hear what you think down in the comments. Now, if you enjoyed talking about this stuff with us today click on the like button's all you got to do it really helps us out and if you're new consider subscribing because we put out videos every single day but as always thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time